Hi, I'm Martin Gibbs. One of the many tools that we use when analysing business problems with clients is a thing called force field. Um, force field works on the basis that whatever the business issue is you're trying to resolve, and it might be um, more sales, it might be more profit, it might be recruitment, it might be staff retention, maybe developing a marketing plan, it could be anything. Whatever the problem is, whatever the issue is, it's likely to be held stationary at the moment because there are positive forces working on it and negative forces working on it. And the two equalise each other and basically your problem isn't going anywhere. So what we use is we use a, a force field analysis tool. And the way this works is, first of all, um, we have to rough out the way the, uh, uh, the tool's going to work. And right down the middle, uh, what we're going to we're going to come, come up with a, a problem here. We're going to say, for example, we're going to looking to uh, going to be looking to increase sales. So we just write more sales. Right. So what we have is a series of forces. As I say, we have positive forces up here, and we have negative forces up here, which are impacting on the particular problem. Um, so we have a number of positive forces and a number of negative forces. And I'm just going to do this very quickly. So I'm going to limit myself to three on each side, walking off camera there. So the, um, what we need to do is to come up with three things which we think are positive forces that are going to help us to increase sales. Um, so this may be uh, positive forces. Number one might be... Um, might be marketing. If we had better marketing resources, we'd be in a better position to, um, to sell our products. Um, it may be that we actually need to have new products. Um, maybe the products we've got aren't up to the job, maybe we need new stuff, uh, maybe technology has moved on. And let's say a third one might be that we could sell more if we, if we got in a, a system and a process for, uh, for training salespeople. So we have three positive forces. Um, working the other way, what three negative things have we, that can we think of which are going to have a, um, ha have, a, have a negative impact on our ability to increase sales? Um, so that may be... Um, uh, it may be customer care. Um, it may be quality control. And maybe it is um, uh, technology. Maybe, maybe the world of technology is moving on to the point where uh, our particular product uh, is being outdated and, and, we, and we need to address the fact that technology is moving on. Right, so what we now have is positive and negative forces. Um, what we then do is to move on and to say, under each of these, what we're looking to do is to come up with things which are going to double the impact of these positive forces. And if we can come up with, say, three things under each of these, which are going to double the impact of the positives, um, and this may be developing a marketing plan, it may be improving our literature, it may be working on our website, or it may be working on a contact program. New products might be investing in R&D. It might be talking to your accountant about R&D tax credits, um, or it may be um, uh, it may be running a series of uh, trials of new products with uh, selected clients. And training might be um, staff training. It may be technology training. Um, it could be anything. So different types of training that you, you may be looking at. Um, you'll then turn over to the other side, and it's then a case of well. What can we do to halve the impact of these negative factors? Um, so again, if we can come up with things which are going to halve the impact of the negatives, um, that is going to have a positive impact 
um, on resolving our problems. So again, if we look at, um, maybe we come up with, say, three things under each of these. Um, so under customer care, um, it, it could be running a series of client surveys, maybe using SurveyMonkey. It could be all sorts of things under customer care. Uh, quality control, well, obviously, um, uh, putting systems and processes in there. Um, there's other mind shop uh, tools that we've got, strategic analysis tools that we've got, a thing called FMEA, which can work really well in terms of uh, weeding stuff out for quality control purposes. Um, and technology. Uh, technology is a risk, so it, it could be um, a program of investment, it could be a program of training, um, or just general education in terms of grasping what the new technology is. So what we now have is a whole series of things which are going to double the impact of the positive forces and things which are going to halve the impact of negative forces. And what you can see then is that if you've, if you've got something which is hung in suspension and not moving, if you double the impact of the positives and halve the impact of the negatives, the overall effect is that you're going to shift this problem uh, against the negatives and you're going to increase sales. The final point is, having come up with uh, a whole series of things that you're going to do, um, what you would do is then say, well, okay, which of these do you think are going to have the biggest effect? Um, and you might, uh, you might vote on them, um, you might sort of go around the room amongst colleagues, and uh, people might vote for, um, for different ones, and um, the end result is, from all of this, well, we've got training, it's got three votes. Um, and we've got technology at two, and the other one we want to work on is a new product, for example. So what we now have is, um, we now have our uh, sort of the start of a, a one-page plan where we can list out the activities we're going to do. Um, objectives, strategy, and tactics. The objective is to increase sales. These are the strategies, new products, training, and technology. And the tactics are the individual things that you're going to do under each of these. Um, and then you're going to have a priority, um, who and when. So, force field, doubling the positives, halving the negatives, shift the whole problem over to the right, work out which are the three things which are going to work to, to the best advantage in the shortest period of time, and then develop a little one-page plan from those. Really fast, really quick. It takes about half an hour, three quarters of an hour to run through this in any great detail. But as you can see, what you end up with is something which at least gives you step one in a process of improving and moving your business forward. This is one of many different Mindshop-inspired business analysis tools that we use here at Daffins, uh, and this is the first video in a series. So uh, watch out for more videos.